know if I need to start all this by laughing or what am I supposed to do? Because um, tell me why the palace releases a new portrait of King Charles in full military regalia to mark armed forces stay as Queen Camilla tacks on greater role this year with tribute to the men and women who protect this country of ours. This was an article written by the Daily Mail Online. And the first question that comes about, where did he fight in any war? To deserve all those medals that you know he's wearing, I'll put for you that photo over there so that you can see the full, you know, military regalia and people are like, when did he serve? Where did he serve in war? To deserve all that acknowledgement or the fact that he's the king, like, why feel the much entitlement? Why? I would add the current war King Charles has against his youngest son, Prince Harry, and his wife, Duchess Meghan. And also a war by extension on his Sussex grandchildren, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. It's interesting that his strategy is consistent and revolves around making them unsafe by removing or restricting their security, cutting funds to them and giving approval to his royal reporters to assassinate their characters in order to try and make them fires to prevent the financial independent and also to revise a history in order to make his victims stronger survivors look like they were the abusers rather than him king charles the cruel the cruel like that level of cruelty that charles has portrayed is just beyond imagination worth not coming out from a father to a son because trust me you he looks absolutely ridiculous in his cosplay he looks absolutely ridiculous. How embarrassing is this? How embarrassing is this? I don't know what you are thinking. I don't know if uh, maybe we are the ones kind of, I don't know. But trust me, you. this is beyond imagination. It is beyond imagination. Not worth at all. He doesn't deserve. He doesn't deserve. Because uh, when uh, did he fight in any war? That's a question. They will do anything uh, to be praised. But thank God people are opening their eyes uh, now. How can he put on an uh, army uniform when he has not even fought a hand in his life except Lady Diana? He tried it with Harry and Meghan, but he kept on exposing himself to the world as evil father and king. Karma is awaiting. Karma will for sure catch up with him. I can say this is just another vanity project by the king. This is just another vanity project by the king. They are about putting out portraits, wanting praises, wanting to, you know, be the topic of discussion. But they never congratulate the Invictus competitors. They never talk of how Invictus has been of so much impact, of how it has benefited, changed lives. They never talk about that. He's losing it. He is losing it. And just looking at his debt... He's just not okay. He's just not okay. Narcissists love to control you. And when they no longer can, they love to control what is said about you. I'm loving this. 
This is such an amazing comment. Narcissists love to control you. And whenever they no longer can, they love to control what is said about you. Abolish the monarchy is the slogan. That's the way to go to put all this to an end. Because trust me, it will backfire. It will backfire. Because this is just hypocrite at its best. This is just hypocrite at its best. King of dress up is the name. Because how many portraits is he releasing this year? Is that part of, uh, you know, this year's calendar? Or part of this year's budget and being that those are some of the things that are supposed to be? Like, it's just ridiculous. What the, not worth sitting down and wanting to imagine or thinking because... No way. The biggest success with that is that he convinced so many he killed his wife. That's somebody's comment. That's the biggest success he has so far. Because I bet this was also so much predictable. I bet I said this while are saying or talking about the ESPY's awards that are is supposed to be awarded come 11th of July. We brought about a whole discussion and I said that something will come out, either from Cousinstone Parlors or Buckingham Palace. Trust me, you. Harry is set to get an award. So cue the military gear and new pledges that they will never see through. Here they are. Camilla getting a new role. For God knows what. Huh? For God knows what. To just be having like puppets. Because at this particular juncture, we're not surprised that all they do is wanting to award themselves almost everything. Almost everything. They want to have everything under their name. Because huh? that's where we heading to at this particular juncture that's where we heading to trust me you that's where we're heading because looking at how things are moving looking at charles and i always say he has a lot to put in place before it's too late and i doubt if he's doing anything closer to making or amending things the last comment they are so used to claiming credit for harry's work that every time he's recognized for his outstanding work with Invictus Gam, they send out boards uh, to attach their names. That way, when Invictus is mentioned, algorithms uh, bring up their names to shameless, despicable people. Charles needs to sit down and think about doing better. Because this is bad. This is bad. This is bad, ridiculous, pathetic, bizarre. As a father, I bet he's underdoing it. Though he's never done better, so I don't know even why I'm saying this. I don't know what you are thinking about all this. Kindly just let me know on the comment section. I've been your host, Fami Rafer. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.